Cassie here. Now today's vlog is super interesting, so I want you to stick around to the end. And the reason why I'm sharing with you um, how to start a clothing line and all these things is because I notice that every time I read your comments and every time I meet you guys at meetups, that you are highly ambitious and motivated individuals. And that isn't just in your fitness, but it shows through in all aspects of your life. So that could be your school, your career, or maybe your entrepreneurship skills. So I am really thrilled to be talking to you about this today because I see so many of you out there who are gonna be big leaders in the world. So get ready for this video, it's gonna be really fun. So in my last video, I hinted that I was going to release a new clothing line. Well, as you can see in the blurry background, um, there's some new activewear back there. And I really wanna to talk to you about this line specifically because I learned so much as a designer and as a businesswoman creating this line. So a year and a half ago, I released my very first clothing line, my very first activewear line, Body Pop. I won't stop till I drop, I'm gonna make my body pop. Body when it's hard to breathe. I won't stop, knock me down, I'm gonna make it to the top. Baby, you just wait and see. My body pop, 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 my body pop, pop, pop. This moment was a dream come true for me. And for those of you who watched my other video, The Story of Body Pop, you would know that my childhood dream was to become a fashion designer. I've been drawing ever since I was like six years old. I had binders full of sketches, like at my parents' house right now. Um, but the other thing was that my parents told me that I couldn't be a fashion designer. They told me that if I did, I was gonna make no money, I was gonna fail, and that I would have no friends. So it hurt and it stuck with me. But eventually your passions cannot be hindered and held down like that. If it's something that you're really meant to do, you end up doing it. And for me, through fitness, through Blogilates, and through you guys, I was able to design my first activewear collection. And it was so cool the, the moment that I saw you guys wear the clothing on Instagram. I almost died, I mean, I didn't, but it was super, super cool. But you know what? Releasing your first collection, your first line by yourself without like a huge company sponsoring or whatever, I think anything you do for the first time can always be improved, right? So I think um, quality could have been better. I think price could have been better. And I wanna talk to you about price a little bit because one of the first comments I remember getting after I posted that I was so excited about this line was, Cassie, I can't afford this, or Cassie, how could you leave us behind like this? It's not fair, I, I can't buy this. And it made me really sad. So this is a big announcement. Guys, very soon I will be releasing my new activewear line, called PopFlex Active. You guys are gonna be the very first to try out this activewear line because I haven't told anyone else yet. I am so happy to tell you that with this new activewear line, PopFlex, you guys are gonna be floored with how beautiful it is and with the price and with the quality. And OMG, the fabric is so soft. It feels like buttercream against your skin and it compresses your muscles and it's sweat wicking. I mean, guys, Literally, so, so cool. Why is the name different and why did everything change? Well, let me tell you. So first line, Body Pop, I admit, could have been done better, but that was the best that I knew back then and that was the best that I could do at that moment. And then you learn. So I took the past year and a half to travel, to take meetings, to argue, to bargain, to investigate, to explore, to research, everything that I needed to do to bring that price down and to bring the quality up. So many people told me it'd be impossible. They were like, well, yeah, that's why people charge $120 for yoga pants. And it just didn't really make sense to me at all. I knew there was something weird. I did all my research and we ended up sourcing every bit of fabric, the thread, the trim, everything that went into your yoga pant or your bra, and we were able to get that price down. Those companies out there are overcharging you for stretchy pants. I'm just gonna say it, okay? Um, as the designer and as the CEO of Pop Flex Active and all the oh gorgeous products that you buy, I know what it costs to create a certain product and what it costs to market it and the margins that are between that price and the retail price. 
and I don't want you guys to be buying into the marketing because a lot of times the luxury brands spend so much money on ads that what you're really paying for is not the actual fabric um, that they're using, you're paying for their advertisements. So just think about that, okay? And for those of you who have taken business classes, you know what I'm talking about. So now we're gonna get into the business side of things, the business side of the clothing line creation. Now this is the most interesting to me because as an entrepreneur, my mind is always buzzing. I'm always designing and thinking of ways to make life better. I mean, that's what businesses are, right? You find a problem, then you figure out a way to solve it, and then you sell it for a certain price that people are willing to pay to improve their lives. I don't know if it's just me, but I find it super interesting to find out how things are made and how things work. So today I wanna to share with you how a piece of clothing starts from an idea in your head to an actual garment that's hanging on a rack in, for example, Nordstrom. So first, you have to be super inspired. And to be inspired, you give yourself a lot of space and you travel and you see things. And something that really gets you excited, that's what can be the muse and the start of your line. So for me, for this new Popflex collection, it was ballerinas and dance and peonies and just that really romantic feel. Then the second thing you do is you take that image in your head and you put it on paper. So this is my actual sketchbook and I take it with me everywhere. I like to do these flats. These are basically images of the clothing that are pretty much laid flat on the floor. And then after that, after you get really into it and you're like, okay, I really like that one, then you can put it on a human or a fashion croquis. And this is what it looks like. And the reason why she's super tall is because we in fashion illustration draw according to nine heads. So technically the body is nine heads long and then there's the head on top. Next, the tech pack. One of the most grueling and mathematical parts of the entire process. Here you lay down your garment or your hypothetical garment and you try to figure out how long is the chest band? How long is the strap for a size four, a size two, a size 12? And you try to get it as close to right as possible. Next we get to sampling, which is the most exciting part because you finally get to see your design in your head in real life. So basically you give your tech pack to a sample maker and a pattern maker and in this entire process you also are choosing the types of fabrics that you will want to use. You have to think about how it stretches. Is it sweat wicking? Is it going to fade when you wash it? Sometimes you think that a certain color will look really good as a pant and then you figure out eh, not so much. So I want to share with you our Pantone blanket. Now I love this baby so much because you can see all the colors that are possible in creating clothing and how it actually looks on um, on fabric. Now speaking of other things that I had to sample that took a really long time, I don't know if you guys ever thought about this, um, but bra cups, okay, bra cups. Bra cups are really important to me, I'm just telling you, because from a girl who doesn't have that much going on right here, bra cups can really change an outfit in the way you look and the way you feel. Um, I guess that's why Victoria's Secret does so well. We spent a year and a half researching and designing and creating the actual mold for our very own Pop Flex Active bra cups. Okay, let me show you. This is a normal, regular bra cup. It's super uh, thin, it's kind of flimsy, and this is a Pop Flex Active bra cup. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a little bit of a bumpage right here, okay? It's the push-up part of the bra cup, and look at that material bounces right back and it molds to your boob. So during the sampling process, you're also sourcing the fabric and the thread. And let me tell you, this is the part that actually helped me get the price down for you guys, okay? Because a lot of times, people will just uh, outsource the whole project. But when you begin to take control and know exactly how you're getting things, how much it costs, and how it pieces all together, and how it works in the whole process, you become a lot smarter, and there are no middlemen involved. So this time around, we sourced everything, from the fabric, to the trim, to the threads, like literally everything, so that we could save you guys on cost. Choosing the right partner makes the biggest difference, because you gotta choose a factory that's going to believe in your product and who has done this type of thing before because a lot of times people just want to get your business and they'll say yeah yeah I can do that I can do that I can do that but if you don't look at their track record and the clients that they've worked with um, you're gonna get kind of screwed and I feel like that has happened to me multiple times before because I'm too trusting but because this time we had a full-time employee overseas working with them overseeing the project everything for the most part went a lot smoother than last time 
So, to make sure that the clothing would fit a woman's body and it could withstand the craziness that you guys do when you do blog a lot of these workouts, well, we hired some fit models and friends to come over and have a little fitting party. So, we had people try on clothes, and guess what? I made them do squats and I made them do burpees, okay? Because I wanted to make sure that these pants ain't see through and that no boobs are popping out when you're doing a burpee, because that's not really cool. After all the colors and sizes and everything is approved, then you sign a contract and you're like, hey, let's do this. I'm gonna order X amount of this style and this style and this style and let's go for it. Order your bulk fabric, you have it sent over to your factory and then your talented team of cutters and sewers and uh, project managers put it together. And this part is really important, okay? Because during this process where they're actually cutting and sewing your stuff, you've got to have an inspector there. You need to take control. So I made sure that my full-time employee was over there making sure that everyone was happy, that everyone was doing the thing that they're supposed to be doing and that it stayed true to my original design, to the exact eighth inch. Then when everything is finally done and ironed, then you package it. But before you put it in the bag, you gotta put tags on it, right? And I wanna show you guys for the first time the new logo. This is the new Puffix logo that I designed a year ago on Adobe Illustrator. The lightning strike, love, because that represents power. I really, really like that. This tag you guys are gonna see on every single one of your garments. And then when everything is finally done and put into boxes, then you put it in a container and you ship it over to the US and in our case to the Oakland port that eventually gets trucked over to the Oak Gorgeous Warehouse in Fremont, California. After you get all the clothes done, you have to have a photo shoot, duh! Because you wanna show off that vision of how the clothing is supposed to look and how it's supposed to feel, that original design vision. And for me, this was really interesting, okay? Because a lot of times I see activewear models doing activewear things and I mean, you know, it's fine. It's normal. So for the photo shoot, I really wanted to work at the professional ballerina. Um, ballerinas just always are so magical to me. And I found this amazing girl named Kylie and she embodied everything that I wanted the line to be. She was powerful, graceful, talented, strong, and the point in her toe was like beyond craziness. So working with her and another yoga instructor and professional dancer named Jacqueline, together we created some beautiful, beautiful photos. So what happens now after your line comes over, obviously you need to sell it, right? So you create something called a look book. And look books are in general sent to buyers and owners of stores um, who look through the book and decide to see if they want to sell your line. So guys, I want to actually share the lookbook with you, okay? This is the lookbook right here. And if you want to see all the beautiful photos that are in the lookbook and see what I'm sending to the buyers and everything, and also see the collection before it actually comes out, I want you to sign up for our newsletter on Popflex Active. Dot com. You're gonna wanna look through all the pictures and see what you like and you know take mental dibs because when that site goes live, you will want to know what to put in your shopping basket and go hard. Popsters are gonna be the first people to try it and I am just so honored that you guys have been with me this whole time and that you trust in the products that I make, in the workouts that I create for you. Without you, there would be no blog -a -lotties. And guys, this whole collection, it's for you. All your feedback, everything that you told me through email, through comments, through meetups, I took that into consideration and you are going to see it with this line. So guys, go to popflexactive.com and sign up for the newsletter because I really want to share this special lookbook with you that you won't be able to see anywhere else. Um, and I'll send it out a day before the site goes live so that you guys will know what you want to buy and uh, you'll have first tips on everything. Thank you so much. I love you so much and take care. I cannot wait for you to see this. Bye guys.